We're pretty far behind on the bioluminescent grind, so today I'll be getting a few MW2 snipers done while we unlock some unique camos along the way. Let's hop in. So the first weapon we'll be getting done today is our Karak 300 or the WA2000 or whatever it's called, the auto sniper from MW2. And the reason why I'm starting with this is because it has the congealed camo and I've seen some pictures. I don't know if it's true or not. We're going to be finding out, but the camo on this is a glow in the dark camo similar to ones that we've seen before. But on certain weapons in certain blueprints, the entire weapon is just glow in the dark green. And to get that, we just need to get 100 kills while zombies are affected by our tactical. And for our other sniper that I brought in, I brought in the LAB3 hundred here. And this actually has two camos that I'm looking forward to getting. One of them that I'm looking forward to is the red moon camo, which is like a nice red background with some tree silhouettes on it. And there's also the seance camo, which just looks pretty nice. And to get those, we'll need to get frost damage with this and just get kills while we got four perks active. So I'm just going to start out with this bad boy. I'm going to throw on our mag of holding and the perks that we got. And let's go try to find a nice place for us to grind. It's been a while since I've actually gone for MW2 zombies camos. I've used a few weapons. We've tried them out in our pimp our gun series, but for the most part, I just hop in and I like try them out. I, I like I have some camo progress on them, but I haven't really gotten any of them golden ivory in a bit. And I've also been wondering if this weapon's any good with mag of holding it being an auto sniper and all not having to reload should make it so we can just constantly fire this. But does it do enough damage for it to be worth it? So far, I can't really tell, but let's start working on getting these tactical kills before I forget. There we go. That's what we like to see. That should be a fat amount towards our camo. Oh, and that's a fat amount towards our next self revive that we're gonna have to invest. This will probably go a lot faster if we do this at a tier one outlast. Now let's see if we can get the spawns right on this because for whatever reason, ever since like season three, it seems like the, the zombie tracking has been a bit off. It's like they can't find their way to me, but right now we're, we're doing okay. So let's not try to speak it into existence. I think I might've spoken it into existence. I don't see any zombies now. I might just have the worst commentators curse there is. There's no zombies now. Oh, they're over here just wandering. That's what I'm talking about with their tracking. What's happening? I feel like it has something to do with Aether Shroud. Like it almost feels like it works while I'm not using it. Like as long as my field upgrade's full, they can't find me. But even then, they're still just messing around. Under the 10 kills out reloading. We got one camo done for this. Maggle holding makes that real easy. Oh, here we go. I think they finally figured out where I am. All right, let's get these zombies trained up. I don't want to waste another decoy. Let's toss it. Wait for them to go for it. And then we light them up. As long as we can find some decoys, we should have this camo in no time. Those are 250 kills. So we just got two more camos to go with this. I think it's just crits and our tactical camo. Is there any ammo crates nearby? Oh, all the way into stronghold. We might have to make the journey. Give me that. And that for sure just reset our spawns. We can't win. I wish decoys dropped as often as Molotovs and Thermites. Those are the only things I ever see on the ground. It's like those in the, the spotter grenades. Those don't do shit. Oh, speaking of which, I wonder. Do cashmere's count as affected by the tactical? We're at 52 right now. Um, maybe. Might make it a little easier. Yeah, it's, it's going up. Seems like a pretty expensive way to get the camo done, though. Wait, do the snapshot grenades work? We're at 60. Oh, yeah, they do. You know what? I was complaining about them for nothing. Should have been picking them up. I thought it had to have some sort of physical effect on the zombies, like stunning them or actually making them go to a location. Just the more you know. Oh, there we go. We got it. And now we just need our headshots and this weapon is done. That cashmere was very helpful though. Throwing it like far away from their spawn and having them all slowly move backwards towards it is like a nice way of getting a lot of tactical kills. Oh, and there's our crits. This gun's all done. Under our LAB. We still need four perks. I'm only at two. There's elemental over here. Is there any other perks close by? Or should I just go to the Wonder Fist? No, there's Jug. Let's just finish up this contract and see if I get any perks from this. We'll kill what we can on the way. Because all we really need to do is just kill zombies with this. I think there's one challenge where I need to kill three zombies in one shot, but that should not be a problem. As long as I'm like training them up. I should go down pretty easily. There we go. Outlast is done. Give me a perk that's not elemental. I would really rather not use it. Because those frost damage kills, it may seem like you just need to get kills while you have cryo freeze on there. And like every kill you get with cryo freeze will work. But the kill actually needs to have them affected by cryo freeze, which really sucks. And there is a chance that elemental pop could speed that up, but it also gives it the option to use like every other ammo mod every time we shoot. So I'll be taking my talents to Jug. Give me that. And now we just need one more perk. And there's Deadshot. That's all four perks. We should be good to go now. Hopefully this outlast will have uh, better spawns for us. Maybe not. I have not seen a single zombie at uh, almost 40%. What's up with this game, dude? Where are they hiding at? We're all just hanging out back here by the pool. Relaxing. 
not doing a damn thing and also not respawning after i kill him this has to be an aether shroud thing like my icon for aether shroud isn't even appearing so we actually need to hunt these zombies down till i can get an aether shroud to use it to hopefully reset their aggro or maybe a decoy can do it we'll see if they can find me once it stops working okay it stopped and they're still all doing their own thing this is actually gonna make our, our three kills with one bullet harder they're all just dicking around there's our aether shroud so let's use that will this fix it okay just ended y'all know where i am nope awesome so we basically have to get tactical kills again if they're not gonna aggro towards me hold on we're getting something they're starting to feel again there we go these guys are lining up for us uh oh there's our 250 kills but i'm not getting a whole lot of frost damage kills I think it's almost guaranteed. Oh, wait, there's our frost damage. Okay, I had to say something. We did unlock one of the camos we came in here for. What I was going to say, though, is it feels like it's guaranteed to get a frost damage kill whenever you kill a hellhound with it because it's super effective against them. But ever since I noticed that, I haven't seen any hellhounds spawn. Oh, here we go. Just got to talk about them. Got to call their name. Yeah, that was a frost damage kill. That's a frost damage kill. All right, we cracked the code. There's 250 kills with four perks active. Now we just need our collat kills and we're done. Oh, and there's our clack kills. We're all done with these. All right, let's finish this contract, get out of here, and go take a peek at these. Oh, and look at that. What a beautiful sight. All these camos done. And two golden ivories to boot. So this is what our congealed camo looks like on our Karak 300. And it's, uh, you know, not the prettiest. Just right off the bat. You can tell it's uh, not the greatest. But there's a little something special about it. When you come in here to the dark, it starts to glow. And, you know, there's some weapons where this looks a little bit better on. And one of those is the blueprint you get for defeating the stormcaller in the new dark aether this ram 7 it covers almost the entire weapon here it's all glow in the dark i mean for the most part it covers the whole weapon there's some spots where it doesn't get to but there you just gotta really play around with this camo and find some blueprints and weapons where it really actually fits like this like it's almost completely like chroma keyed out and it looks pretty decent on this advanced lethality blueprint i have for the xrk stalker i'm pretty sure this is in the battle pass it covers a good amount of the gun and this is a good mixture of it this is the default lockwood 680 it almost looks cell shaded the way it's on as a secondary color here you just got to find some weapons that have a whole lot of secondary color on them. I think changing out some attachments and the blueprints really affect how the camo coverage goes onto your weapon. So you just got to mess around with it a bit. And as for our LAB camos, this is the red moon camo I was talking about. I think this is a really nice for just one of the base camos. It's all red with like a purple maroon-ish secondary color. And you can see the little silhouette, the outline of some trees on it. I think it looks pretty nice, pretty classy. And then we also have our seance camo here. It's a very flashy tiger camo. And I just, I just really like the vibrant colors on it. We had some pretty nice camos here for these just being base challenges for these weapons. All right, let's get two more weapons done and two more unique camos. I'm coming in here with the Victus XMR. And the camo for this one is the Infected Waters camo which actually looks pretty nice. It's like uh, a more colorful looking default type camo or like the, the pattern you think of when you just think of camo. And for that one, we just need to get kills while this has full attachments on it. And our other sniper we brought in is our FJX Imperium. And I'm going for the Stachy Botry camo. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but it almost looks similar to Orion, just like a non-animated version. And for that one, we just need to get 250 kills. So both these camos we're going after are very easy. And the rest of the camos for them are pretty similar the ones that we just did like getting three kills with one bullet and getting frost damage kills but uh my only problem is i don't remember which one needed frost damage and i only came in here with one cryo freeze so we're gonna have to gamble we got a 50 50 shot at it eeny meeny miny this one i'm going with the victus here you go victus and let's go ahead and clear out the stronghold before we start this up and don't get me wrong i love that i can now track camos in game but only being able to track five there's still going to be an issue with me having gamer's dementia. Because if I'm working on two weapons, that's a total of eight base camos we need to get done. And uh, I can't remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. So we're just winging it. Just a little bit more and we should at least get our 250 kills with this. Right? How many kills are we at? Oh, only 171. Okay. Maybe, maybe a, a little bit more than we thought. There it is. Oh, wait. Invoke darkness. I hope that's the one I'm looking for. Invest of waters. Infested. There's 250 kills of frost damage. Oh, we guessed right. Let's go. Always gamble. It works every time. Every gamble is a 50-50. You either win or you don't. So now we just need 100 more crits with this. And we are completely done with the Victus. 
And there it is. All done with the Victus XMR. Now for our Imperium, we need to get kills without getting hit on top of going for our 250 kills. And we also need to get our kills with one bullet. So the zombies not tracking us is going to be good for our Jackrabbit medals that we need. Because not getting hit is nice until one zombie decides all of a sudden that it knows you're here. But once they actually start aggroing on me again, then our three kills with one bullet gets a lot easier. So as long as it keeps a nice balance between actually finding me and having no idea I'm here, then we should be able to knock this out pretty quick. I don't even know what's affecting it anymore. Because now they just completely stopped. The tracking's there one minute, the next minute it's gone. I got sick of the zombies not tracking me at the outlast, so let's just do an exfil and see if it's any better. It looks like some of the zombies are figuring out where I am. These other ones are stupid, though. Actually, none of the zombies know where I am. Okay. Remember when people would throw monkey bombs on top of sentry guns and sit here and farm exfils? You don't even need to do that anymore. You just need to smell like shit, apparently. And the zombies won't even come after you. Not bathing is the new meta. I'm literally just now thinking this after playing for however long. Shatter Blast would be perfect for our three kills with one shot. I'm almost positive that would count. Oh, and there's our Stashi Bortress. See, that's that's a crazy ass word. Am I, am I wrong? Wild ass word to pronounce, but we got it done. It feels weird like not going into tier three at all for a few games. Maybe this will lower my zombies SPMM and I'll have games where people are not in tier three at all. But I'm almost positive it goes off of like your level in what missions you have completed on who it pairs you with. But not going to the Dark Aether, not killing any Mega Abominations? Feels odd. We haven't been in the, the camo grinding mode for a bit in Zombies. Damn, we might have to take this one to Final Exfil. How many crits do we need still? Uh, like 43. And we still need a few kills without getting hit. At least once we get closer to Final Exfil, we'll get more Zombies spawning at these Exfils. There's our crits. Yep, we're taking this game the distance. And there's final expo. We got four minutes left in the game to get this done. There we go. Our kills without getting hit are done. And I don't have our last challenge tracked. So we better hope it's the clat ones. Otherwise, uh, we're not getting out of here with golden ivory on this. Oh, uh, we only got a minute left. This might be chalked on our last camo. Well, let's, uh, let's just hope that we got it all. I've got no choice now. Ooh, maybe we did get them all. Ah, uh, no, we didn't. What were we missing? It was our collats, and we were five off. Damn. Well, at least we got the camo we're looking for. Let's go see what these look like in game. All right, this is our stretchy Boris skin, our, our scratchy foreskin camo, whatever you want to call it. it. You can see the resemblance here to some Orion. It's almost like uh, it's oxidized and it's like rusting, but it's all these cool colors and like fractured paint of like what was left over on the weapon. I don't know. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I think it looks pretty nice for just a base camo. And then this is our infested waters camo. I think this looks really good. It's secondary color is just pure matte black, which is nice. It lets you really focus on the primary here which is like that solid, almost wood blue with the pink and the, the green and some other colors poking through bars. It's just a really sweet camo. So we killed two birds with one stone today. We made some more progress towards bioluminescent and we got some more camos to add to our repertoire. You know, some nice non-mastery camos that we can throw into the rotation. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.